what's going on in the world today, I think you'd better step up your education because I think we're in serious financial trouble right now. We're in serious. I mean, the repo market collapse again, which it did in 2008. And everybody, th- I, I meet people and say, well, I'm just going to get into real estate. I'm going now, you know, where were you 10 years ago when everything was moving up at high rates of speed? We had dinner a couple of nights ago. This person says, yeah, I'm going to get a real estate license. I said, now? Do you know? I've been going, where the heck are these people? I mean, the Fed's going to raise rates. We're at war with Russia. I mean, what the heck are you guys thinking? When I met Ken McElroy after all, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, back then, I mean, people, were, this was in the 2000, 2008, the repo market collapsed, Lehman went down. You know, I'm on CNN telling Wolf Blitzer Lehman's going down because I study all this stuff. And I meet Kenny and people are flipping houses. So I meet Kenny and he tells me he's a real estate guy. I say, yeah, you're probably a flipper. You know, and I hate flippers too. I don't like flippers and I don't like 401k salespeople. And I start talking to Kenny and he says, no, I don't flip properties. I went, oh my God. So Kenny was one of the first guys I met that actually followed what my rich dad taught me to do, which is how do you acquire real estate with nothing down and use 100% debt and uh, pay no taxes. So with that, I mean, Kenny and I have made freaking multi-millions of dollars. We're billions of dollars in debt, but debt makes people with financial education rich. So what happened after 2008, after the repo market, after Lehman went down, as I called it, on CNN, we made fortunes because it was a crash. So you're saying, well, well, you're telling us it's going to crash, man. I'm saying it's going to be the biggest opportunity of your life. Because um, America stopped producing. You know, we stopped making things. And all America has done is produce bubbles. So we have a bubble in real estate, bubble in stocks, bubble in bonds. Everybody's happy. They think they're getting rich today. And I've never seen it so frightening. Now, on the other side of the coin... As Kenny knows, Ken McElroy, he and I know, is after 2008, we just barred our asses off and bought real estate as it crashed. The problem, this is the everything bubble. This is the biggest bubble in world history. So it's going to be big. So John and I, like, like I said, rugby players, believe for the Hawaii Harlequins rugby team. And I'm talking to him and he's telling me about all the rich people we knew in Hawaii mm-hmm. who are going broke. I'm going, you got to tell that story. Because, as I said, in 1974 was the first uh, 401k. It was called ERISA, Employee Retirement Income Security Act. And I was still in the Marine Corps, and I was flying out of Hawaii. um, And I went to listen to these pitches on how to sell a 401k. And I said, these guys are lying. Because the advantage I had is I had a rich dad and I had a poor dad. And my poor dad was the village idiot. He was a PhD, which stands for poor, helpless, and desperate. He ran the school system for the state of Hawaii, and he thought the 401k was wonderful. I'm going, you got to be kidding me. And my rich dad was my best friend's father. He goes, oh, my God, boy, talk about a license to steal money from stupid people called employees. So I came from a different, so this is 74. I'm still in the Marine Corps. And the first thing my rich dad said to me, if you're going to be a rich man, you better learn two things right now. Be an entrepreneur, you know, but he says, you've got to learn how to sell. And secondly, you've got to know real estate because real estate is debt and taxes. And that's what what do you mean debt and taxes? So in 1974, I took my first real estate course and opened my eyes up because you don't need money to buy real estate and you pay no taxes on top of it. Just before I get out of the Marine Corps, you know, I get a job with Xerox, learn how to sell. So I got sales and then I understood real estate. So why am I a rich man today? Because I took two courses, learn how to sell and learn about real estate. And my poor dad, the PhD, says, go back to school, get your MBA and get your PhD. I'm going, then I'd wind up like you, a poor, highly educated man with a 401k. Because we were the first generation with a 401k. The 401k came in, I think, 1974. And we're going, oh, Jesus is going to save us. You know, they're going to give us a pension. But in my opinion, it was one of the biggest screw jobs ever. Because you're putting people who know nothing about investing, and they're now counting on Wall Street to keep them alive into their late years. 
So here's this book that's written by Ted Sedell, and he makes his fortune suing pension funds. We're going to a depression, possibly a depression. And as John talks about it, I mean, people have no money. So when our buddy Joe Biden took off the Keystone XL pipeline, inflation went through the roof. That wipes out the poor because they can't afford to eat. Because oil, I'm an oil guy, I went to school because to work for Standard Oil. When the price of oil goes up, fertilizer goes up. Fertilizer goes up, food goes up. So if you have a 401k, you know, like I'd say, drop back and punt on first down. You know what I mean? Because you may, we're not going to tell you what to do, but maybe you'll find out why you should make changes. Because the good news is that's when you get really rich. That's like if Neiman Markin was having a sale on Louis Vuitton, you know, every consumer would be lined up there. But I, I'm, I was talking to this woman the other night. She said, oh, I finally got it. I'm, I'm going to get my real estate license and start flipping real estate. And I said, this is not the time. Oh, now I'm going to quit my job. I'm going, you got to be kidding me. But that's how stupid people are. So this is going to be the biggest bubble in world history that's going to bust. I think America's going into the next depression. We're at war with Russia. Biden is going hat in hand to Venezuela and to Iran to try and get oil, but he cuts off U.S. oil. Now, that's good news for me because I sell oil. I mean, you know, we had Mike Maselli here this weekend and um, oil went from $30 a barrel to $130 a barrel. I make more money, but America is going to go broke. So in 2008, when the market crashed, Kenny and I borrowed millions and millions of dollars because they were giving away the best investments in the world. And it's going to come again, but this time I think it's going to be more pain than last time. And it's really interesting because being an entrepreneur, one of the first things my rich dad taught me is, is if you're going to be an entrepreneur, the purpose of a business is to buy real estate. And people go, what? No, it's supposed to, no, you buy real estate with it. And the average person has never heard that. And I use debt and I pay no taxes. And then what most people don't know is that in 1971 is that the Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. So the dollar became debt. They could print it and they had to raise taxes to collect the money back. And again, the problem is power is the ability to change. And that's really the sad part. You know, it's like we had Dr. Nicole, you know, she can tell them about Dianexus, but people don't have the discipline to change. This weekend, I was really, really kind of disturbed by a couple of people who've been with me for years. They haven't done anything different with me. For 17 years, they do the same old thing. They cannot change, but they're smart people. They just cannot change. Like I was talking to people I've known for years, how much gold have you bought? None. How much silver you bought? None. How much real estate have you done? But we read your book. Yeah. And I go nuts. That means there's something really effed up inside of you. I mean, you have a, you have a definite block to be poor.